So we're going to talk about the clays and condensation. which is a nucleophilic acyl substitution in which we are generating an enolate and then as the electrophile we are using an ester. So we're actually doing uh, chemistry that we've already seen before in the prior two chapters. So formation of an enolate, that's treatment of uh, an alpha carbonyl containing compound with a base to do an acid-base reaction that generates our nucleophile and then we're treating with an electrophile. In this case it's going to be for the clays and condensation and an ester. So the first example that we're going to look at, let's start with ethyl acetate. So we're starting with our ester. We recognize this is an oxidation state 3 compound. It has an alpha carbon and it has three alpha protons. So we're going to treat that with sodium ethoxide as our base, so we're going to do an acid-base reaction. That's going to generate our enolate. So this is an ester enolate. So our, our byproduct of that will be ethanol. So we're, we're in a protic solvent. So we're establishing an equilibrium. This is going to do a self-condensation, so we have our ester enolate is our nucleophile. It's going to react with a molecule of itself in terms of the starting material, that's going to be the electrophile. So we know that through resonance, Here's the resonance hybrid of the enolate in which the carbon now is bearing the negative charge. The nucleophile drives the arrow. We're attacking the delta positive carbon of the carbonyl. We form a carbon-carbon bond. We have to break a bond. This is going to proceed through a, a tetrahedral intermediate. So what I want to point out is that this carbon is starting at sp2. It is now sp3, again oxidation state 3, we're now at oxidation state 2. This will collapse back down, we have a good leaving group and ethoxide. So if you look, we're regenerating sodium ethoxide, that's important. Because now what we've done, we've generated a beta keto ester, and we know that this has a very acidic proton here at the alpha carbon, which is sandwiched between two carbonyls. This has a pKa 10. So we know that sodium ethoxide is sufficiently basic to abstract that alpha proton. Now at this step, we're getting out of equilibrium. 
This is the driving force for the reaction. This is a one-way arrow. It's going to form this sodium enolate. going to draw the resonance form. with the negative charge on oxygen. So the reaction will sit at this stage until we adjust the pH to finally reprotonate the alpha proton. So what is that going to require? So the reaction sits here. We then do an aqueous acidic workup. So hydronium ion, that's going to drop the pH from basic to acidic, which will allow us to isolate the neutral form of this molecule, which we've seen before is ethyl acetoacetate. So just to point out again, this is the driving force. It's that deprotonation to form the stable enolate. And to isolate the neutral form, we have to do an aqueous acidic workup. So this has been a Claisen condensation, reviewing nucleophilic acyl substitution, the concepts of alpha acidity, equilibrium. This is the nucleophilic acyl substitution at this stage here. SP3 carbon breaks down, we get the beta keto ester, we have increased acidity at this alpha carbon due to the 1-3 relationship of the carbonyls. Our stabilized enolate sits at this stage until we work up to get the neutral form.